Hey what's up guys, today I'm going to unbox my new PC but before I'm going to unbox my new PC I'm first going to unbox my new keyboard and my new mouse which I got with my PC for free. So yeah let's unbox the mouse first which is a Shark Zone M50 from Shakun. As you can see um, the case of my PC is from Shakun, which is why I got these things from free. So let's open it up, let's see if I can peel this one. Uh, the sticker of it um, and as you can see the keyboard laying under it is a Skiller Pro keyboard which uh, with some lighting effects and everything obviously I went for the US layout for the keyboard but I'm going to show that in a second which is because um, I live in the Netherlands and here we use the US layout um, as you can see I accidentally scrapped that one a bit um, sadly in the box when I tried to get off the sticker so I'm going to do that real careful here. Now we got the plastic off. Here's the mouse. Um, and there's some oh, some extra panels for my. Oh. oh, I see. Um, you can remove some of the parts and uh, screw some other ones on. So let's first take the mouse out of here. Oh, nice! It's one of these braided cables. I really really like it if, they are, if you have braided cables because it makes them a little tougher, a little stronger um, and like for example the Xbox Elite controller has that um, so yeah I'm really happy this one has that too my god feels really really good it's a tad heavier than my older mouse luckily um, I really like that my mouses are a bit heavy like my controllers I like them heavy um, so yeah it's really really nice and it's good that this one is partly from steel um, instead of fully plastic so yeah let's see if I can get these on oh no I think I will do that later by the way I think I'm going to go first for my uh, for the keyboard oh little door hanger there um, oh nice um, and the drivers of course the, the software um, a little bag oh and some um, some grips for under the mouse which is really really nice uh, as you can see you can replace the grips in, in case they have uh, worn out a bit after the years so you can replace them which is very very nice um, and some nice bags to take it with you okay as you can see also a shotgun keyboard um, so yeah with the extra buttons uh, which you will see in a second let me open this okay let me open this up yeah, let me get the, the sticker, which I'm not going to try to remove because I uh, already ripped it almost a part of the box. Well, it's a bit ripped, so sadly, because I tend to um, save up the boxes of all my devices. And I've got like a shelf with all the boxes in there. Let me try to get the keyboard out. Get the, the big box out of the way. Is there something else in there? Uh, yeah, the drivers, but nothing else. So well, here we've got the keyboard. As you can see we've got some grips for under the keyboard, some rubber pieces. Um, let's try to get this cable through. But these rubber pieces will make it uh, a lot more steady, so it doesn't slide away even on a glass table or anything. Um, and it makes sure you don't scratch your table either if you accidentally push it a bit and manage to get it uh, to move it. Okay, it's time to get the plastic off. Okay. And it also has one of these braided cables as you can see, which is very very nice. It's not a mechanical keyboard for those wondering, it's just a standard keyboard. But that doesn't really matter to me because I'm not primarily uh, a PC gamer. Um, and it still feels really really good to me. Especially if you have seen my desk, if you have seen my old keyboard. <laughs> which is more than uh, 10 years old so that's not a problem to me at all but this feels really really nice um, I'm going to show the lights a little later when it's connected to my PC so I'm just going to edit some photos of that in okay let's unscrew the, the parts and replace them 
so I can show you what um, what that does because it's simply uh, changing the grip on it, making it feel a little different and giving it a slightly different shape. Uh, it comes with a screwdriver as you've seen. Okay, as you can see, I've got them changed now. This already feels much better, so I think I'm going to keep this one. So yeah, now of course to the part which you've all been waiting for, my gaming PC. Let me cut the tape of course, and as you can see, it's built, um, it's custom built, Arctic Secrets, um, of which are the stickers. And it's, so, uh, they put a lot of tape in there, making sure it's safe in there. Because obviously I can't build a PC myself, I'm an absolute noob at these things, I'm, I suck with technology. <laughs> so yeah, I have my, uh, my PC custom built for me. Um, so yeah, let's get see what's in there. This, this is a GTX 1070. We've got the Elgato Game Capture HD 60 Pro, which is my new capture card. So expect some uh, 60 frames per second videos. We've got my hard drive, which is a two terabyte hard drive. Um, the power brick, of course. The, and it has the MZ Pro Carbon motherboard. The processor in there is an i7 next to the RAM of course which are two 8GB um, RAMs so we've got 16GB of RAM um, and an i7 770k processor 4.2GHz of course so it's an absolute monster in here <laughs> so don't worry about that and my main programs will be on my SSD I'll post the full specs and um, so yeah Let's go to some pictures now. Here I've got my PC again, nicely open so I can see it. Take a little close-ups of the Elgato Game... Uh, you can see the Elgato Game Capture HD a bit better in here. The Pro one of course. Now you can see a bit of my motherboard. This is the back of my PC. With all the little things. This is the front. Nothing too special but still looks cool. This is the side. Obviously now you know what I look like. This is now how it stands in my setup. It's not entirely done so for some of the rough cables, but it's not entirely done yet, but I'm just checking if it works. So. And as you can see it looks really really cool. As you can see this is in the dark, how the lightning shows. The Pro Carbon motherboard isn't even on yet. But I haven't uh, been able to put it on the lights of that on yet, so sadly. But as you can see, this is the front in the dark, which looks like an absolute beast. And my uh, uh, RAM, which is also giving light, of course. Very, very nice. So yeah, let me make a little list of whatever is in here and show you the specs on my PC. So yeah, that's my new PC. So got a lot of play, Mass Effect coming out tomorrow so we'll be doing some more videos on that um, and you can expect them to be a lot better quality than the previous videos due to the um, new capture card of course. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.